Wolves have won it! Wolves have won it! Wolves have won it! A quite incredible finish to a remarkable match! <laughs> Wolves 2, Everton 2, a really entertaining, really great start back to our Premier League lives. And if you compare it to the other two games that we've had entering the Premier League in 2003 and 2009, this is by far the best performance that we've seen. We looked in complete control, we dominated possession for long periods, and we looked like a Premier League team, which is really, really good and something to build on. This, we're no, by nowhere near the finished product. There's a lot of little tiny details that need to be ironed out over the next couple of weeks. And with some tough games coming up, I think it was a really important point today and one which looked as if it was slipping away from us in the last 10 minutes. But as a team, and that's what's been the theme since Nuno's come in, the team played really, really well. Lots of individual good performances. I thought Neves, obviously, with his goal and his assist. Sorry to everybody who I've told to not put Neves in their uh, fantasy football teams because he won't get you goals and assists. We <laughs> won a few people some points today, so sorry for that. As a, as a whole performance, I think Jimenez stood out, took his goal really well, an excellent header downwards past Pickford. He did have a one-on-one, -on -one, which he possibly should have put away, but he's against England's top goalkeeper, and that's what we've got to get used to. We're playing against some top, top players, worldwide top players, and Pickford did so well to come out and smother the ball. He was really only about five yards, six yards away from Jimenez at the time of him striking the ball, so it was difficult for him to get any height or any any width on that. In midfield, I thought Moutinho and Neves controlled the game, uh, there was a period around about the just before Wolves scored their goal where we were being so patient with the ball. And there's a few people around me, and I'm sure in other areas of the ground, that were getting so frustrated in the fact that Wolves were just recycling possession. But that's so important. We're going to see it a few times this season, particularly at home, when teams come to set up to block us and to stop us from scoring with just two banks of four behind the ball. We've got to be patient. We've got to wait for that chance to appear. And they did that really well. Neves putting the ball in for the goal. Jimenez taking it really well. Just talking about Neves as well, his free kick is something that we've become accustomed to, but now it's on the global scale. It'll be on match of the day tonight. A superb free kick. A long time from the... I could, To be honest, the red card, I can't tell whether it was a red card or not at the moment. I'll have to see it again. But we took full advantage of that from the immediate opportunity that was given, given to us. We should have made more of it, I think, as the game went on. To be playing against 10 men for 50 minutes or so, we didn't capitalise on the extra man that we should have had in midfield. I think they perhaps lacked a little bit of stability and a little bit of creativity with Gilfie Sigurdsson having to come off to shore up their defence. But I think Everton will be happy with a the point there, having played for so long for 10 men, with 10 men. But what I noticed today in particular... Uh, just just to touch on Theo Walcott, he's a player that is obviously an attacking player, but he showed the sort of the the whole player that you need to be in the Premier League. He was coming back so often and working so hard and winning the ball back. It was really interesting to see how hard a winger works back, and it was difficult for Jota on that left hand side in the first half to get past him and Leighton Baines to get anything decent into the box. So it's, it's something that we're going to have to work on as well. I think Neves made a little mistake in the build-up to Everton's second goal. From a throw-in, he let uh, Ricarlison turn him a little bit too easily. And it was an excellent finish from Ricarlison. And that's something that we need to be used to as well. Well, the first goal was a little bit of a lapse of concentration from Wolves' point of view. They let the ball bounce in the area from a free kick. And they were the first to react to it and they scored. But we reacted well to that. The second goal as well, from the throw-in lapsing concentration that's something that we need to cut out from our game but i think generally we've got a lot to be pleased about and a lot to be positive about going forward we have got two really tough games now leicester away man city at home but those games are going to come and every game is a tough game we'll win some we'll lose some but today's a really important point for wolves and i think a fair point as well i think we should have we could argue that we should have won the game I don't think we really had the chances to. Everton were playing for a point near the end as well, so very difficult to break down two banks of four, which they were doing for the last 20 minutes or so once they were 2-1 up. The substitutions as well, I thought, were really well, and they were quite bold substitutions to throw Vinagre on, having not been having not played for Wolves in pre-season. He looked really sharp down the left-hand side, and I think that's eased my worries about Barry Douglas as well. Johnny looked good for the first 70 minutes that he played, but Vinagre offered us a lot more going forward, I felt. A little bit of pace... 
and he looks like he's matured a lot in the in the six or so eight months since we last seen him play against Swansea in the FA Cup back in January. He's he's growing up. He's been a success at the Euros for the under 19s this year. And Morgan Gibbs White as well to throw him on in a game of such magnitude and to have done so well. I'm really, really pleased for him and I hope that he can continue to be a part of Wolves team going forward this season. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let me know your thoughts from today's game in the comment section down below. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.